TCF Bank Stadium here has been dead for quite some time. There's no one on the field. The ticketing office is closed and Goldie's locker room is not only closed, but there's absolutely no merchandise on the shelves. But when the announcement came out that football was back, campus came alive with excitement, or at least as alive as it can be with how few students are actually here on campus these days. Well, we found out in class this morning and uh, we were beyond pumped. Matt Heiling and his friends were in the middle of a physical therapy class when they heard the news and it was hard for them to keep it together. I was so excited. Go Gophers, we're back. I looked over and I was like, do you guys hear football's back? And they're all like, yep, let's go. I immediately grabbed my phone in the middle of class and I texted my dad and he was a bigger Gopher fan than anyone I know. And he was jacked too, he'd heard the news. All of them wish they could be there on game day, but according to the athletics department, only guests and family members of the football players will be allowed in the stadium. With about 100 active players on the roster, that means the nearly 51,000 seat stadium will only have a few hundred fans in the stands. Definitely be a different feeling if the you know stadium's a little bit quieter and there's nobody there. But they say even just watching the games on TV will be enough to raise their spirits during an otherwise long and lonely semester. Kind of a morale boost almost, something to look forward to besides school right now. With the Big Ten and the university still finalizing some plans for the season, students tell me that they will be glued to their phones the next few days, checking for any update they can find, whether it's at home on the couch or outside with friends. They say they're going to watch every game this season and just be excited that football is finally back. Gordon Severson, Carol Evan News.